Right, so we are just a week away from the brand new Year 9 cinematic, which is going to set up the entirety of lore for Year 9. I have a feeling that we're going to get the reveal of Deimos's identity, and maybe we're going to see Nighthaven's involvement as well. But there is another major storyline in R6 lore, which has been developed over the past two years, but it hasn't recently been touched on, and we've not heard about anything since. And I am, of course, talking about the Nook storyline. Now, let me do a quick recap of the storyline with Nook, because she plays a pretty important part. So for starters, we know that Nook's real name is Karina Gardier, and we know that she is from Denmark, but other than that, a lot of her information is redacted. But what we do know is that her personal records, the ones which are currently redacted from what we can see, are sealed in NATO's confidential security clearance. The only person who has seen these outside of this is Six, which at the time was Harry, who is now dead. But the reason why Nook's personal records are being sealed at NATO is because they have high potential to pose a threat to national security and a bunch of ongoing missions. This has led many people to question who Nook truly is. And a very popular fan theory is that Nook, or Karina Gardier, is actually the princess of Denmark. And that is why her identity remains very concealed and hidden, and that's why it could pose threat to national security because Karina Gardier is actually royalty. Now, of course, we don't know who the Gardiers are in Rainbow Six lore. Just because we know her full name doesn't mean we know if that means anything. But that is one of the most popular theories going around. And with that information, whether she is the Princess of Denmark or not, we do know that it is confirmed that her records have to be sealed for safety. Well, that leads into the storyline which developed during Year 7, where Nighthaven Tech was found to be used in an assassination against Masayuki Yahata, CEO of Yahata Data Security. This would then lead Azami to take this bullet and show it to one of her ex-colleagues, Habana, who is of course in Rainbow. This is how Azami made her way into Rainbow, and this is when Rainbow started to get suspicious of Nighthaven. Why was Nighthaven assassinating people? Especially Masayuki Yahata, whose company Rainbow has an account under. So Rainbow needed to get more information. After Wolfgar completed their mission and found their way onto Nighthaven's base, that is when Ghost Eyes operator Nook would continue the infiltration. And this mission was to extract a data key to find out truly what Nighthaven were doing. After facing off with Grimm, Nook managed to escape. Although her face partially did get revealed, she did get the data key and was extracted by Sam Fisher. After this infiltration, Nighthaven done an investigation, and this is when they learned from Finka that that was actually Nook. Callie sent Grimm on a mission, not to kill Nook, but to reveal her identity and basically use it as leverage and blackmail to make sure that Rainbow doesn't cross Nighthaven again. After after a lengthy investigation, Grimm managed to finally get her identity from multiple sources, and he visited her at her home. After a small fight breaks out, Grimm says he's not there to kill her, but as a warning to never cross Nighthaven again. With Nook now knowing that Nighthaven knows who she truly is, we would go on to later learn from Captain Kavera, who is currently leading the squad which Nook is part of, that Nook is on leave, and we've not heard from her since. Now, of course, if you are aware of the entire storyline, Nighthaven didn't kill Yahata. It was actually the Kires Legion and Deimos, and they were using Nighthaven's stolen gear to basically frame them and put them against Rainbow, whilst they operated in the background. However, one of the unfortunate side effects of this was this issue with Nook. And to this day, we still don't know where Nook is. As far as we're aware, she still isn't in active duty during Rainbow. She's probably moved away from that house that she lived in. It seemed like she did have a partner and even a kid. So judging by how big of this security leak could have been, Nook is probably in a safe house somewhere. Now, do I think that Nighthaven are going to expose Nook's identity? Probably not. It's definitely not in their best interest to get on the wrong side of NATO. Yeah, Rainbow and Nighthaven kind of still don't like each other, but it seems like the bridges are starting to rebuild, and especially with the Kires Legion now being the main threat. In the words of Zofia, the feud between Nighthaven seems a bit trivial. At the end of the day, Nighthaven aren't bad people, it's just that Rainbow and Nighthaven, specifically Ash and Callie had completely different ways of going about stuff, and that's where they clashed heads. So with just a week away from the massive cinematic, will we get to see Nook's return? Or is this going to be a storyline which develops even over more years? I think this is a perfect time to make a single-player spin-off game focused on Nook. I mean, let's be honest, she's a fan-favorite character, a story in which Nook is basically scrambling to make sure her identity doesn't get leaked, and all these adversaries come after her, would be a very 
interesting story. I do think Ubisoft really need to capitalize on the characters they have in this game. Every other venture they've made after Rainbow Six Siege have been live service attempts. You have Rainbow Six Extraction, which was meant to be a live service PvE. We all know how that kind of went. As much as I did enjoy it, it was a bit of a failure. And you also have Rainbow Six Mobile, which is much more promising than Extraction, but it's basically just Siege for your phones. But this massive roster of characters, all with their own background, story, and personality, needs to be capitalized outside of Siege, in my opinion. I do believe that Rainbow Six Siege will continue for years to come. I don't think the game is going to die. However, I definitely do believe that the future of Rainbow Six is in storytelling. Because let's be honest, when it comes to PvP and live service games, Rainbow Six Siege, and I guess mobile for that status as well, is the best you're going to get. I really don't see how they can make a Rainbow Six multiplayer game after Siege and it be anything comparable to Siege. You know, unless they make Siege 2, which is just a revamped version of Siege, that's still the same game at the end of the day. But I definitely think the future of the Rainbow Six franchise outside of Siege is in storytelling and single player campaign. And with Nook now being no longer present in the main story right now, because of this conflict she had with Nighthaven and Grimm, gives them the perfect opportunity to spin it off. And you could just start the game with a quick recap as well for those who aren't familiar with Arthur's lore like we are. But if we're being honest, she's most likely going to reappear in Rainbow Six Siege lore. But to what extent and when that will happen, I'm not really sure because, let's be honest, with the whole Deimos and Kira's Legion storyline going on right now, I can't really see how they're going to segue into Nook's storyline unless it's something they just talk about in a battle pass. However, I feel like Nook's identity being known by Nighthaven is a bit of a bigger story point, especially the security risks that come with it, than just to drop in a battle pass. So we're yet to see where this all goes. I'd be even happy to take like a book from this or even just a comic book, but even like a brand new novel based on the Rainbow Six Siege story would be really fun. But for now, we can just speculate, but I want to extend the question to you. Where do you all think Nook currently is? I definitely think she's probably been moved into a safe house and what how do you think they're going to reintegrate her into the story heck maybe we'll even see her and grim you know working together and fighting you know the kira's legion but of course that does require nighthaven and rainbow working together again and you know maybe we'll see that next week like i said we are i'm pretty sure less than a week away at this point uh to the brand new cinematic which is very exciting and i cannot wait to see that talk about it and the lore is just getting even more interesting as every year progresses so be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below drop a like on this video if you did enjoy subscribe for more rainbow six lore content make sure you check out my other videos and my youtube shorts i do post a lot of smaller lore content there which isn't really big enough for its own video but they are definitely worth the watch and are just as interesting so i'll catch you later i love you all stay safe peace